the Joe Rogan experience. It's just weird, man. It's just I never I've never seen us so divided, and a part of it has to do with Trump for sure. There's like this reaction, like that they yeah. feel like um, really obligated to act. People feel obligated to act and try to make things change, which I think is ultimately good. All all this thing, the, all of what's going on right now does not concern me nearly as much as it does a lot of other people. Because right. I feel like people are already reacting to it and already going, what in the fuck? You know, and, and the, the ship is already starting to right itself. Well, the Oscars was the lowest rated, I think, in the history of the Oscars. I right? heard that, but it's also 26 million people watched. That's a lot of fucking yeah. people. That's yeah. a lot. Don't shit on someone who got 26 million no, people. No, but I, I think, I think people I like, are, we're afraid to be, people get very kind of like, whoa, this, we're getting political here. And that's it's true, radical. but when they looked at the numbers, the numbers were, they were comparing it to like 2013. Yeah. They were down 5 million from 2013, I think it was. Guess what wasn't around 2013? Netflix! True. It's a lot more shit to watch. It's true. What's it down from last year? There's definitely people that are bored with Hollywood, though. Like, enough. Well, they, they, Hollywood's overreach. I think Hollywood tends to be... What bothers me about Hollywood is their virtual, virtue signaling. Like, they're going to set an example, you fucking guys. Like, you want to be liked, okay? And yeah. you're as fickle as it gets. They were the same people that were standing up and clapping for Roman Polanski. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Well, some of them were. Yeah. Some of them were really saying some ridiculous shit. I mean, like come on, guys. It's a long time ago. And he just, drugged and sodomized a 13-year-old. I think he I fucked like, more than one, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so guess what? Yeah. I can't have that guy. You're not getting... They wanted to sign a position to bring him back in the country. I, I, I can't forgive that. No. Stay in France. Well, they want to bring him back to the country to arrest him. And they're really trying hard to do that. Yeah. And there's people that resist that. I think he's an amazing artist, and you know, artists are just different. Just be consistent, though. You yeah, know, you be can't, consistent. Uh, that's where I draw the line. You can't drug kids and fuck them in the ass. I mean, Asia Argento, who was one of the one of the people that came out against Harvey Weinstein, she had been raped by him apparently, and then she had a sexual relationship for ten years afterwards. Which, by the way, people are like ah, that, I actually forgive that because people go back to the trauma, right? They want to relive it on their own terms. Mm -hmm. But she signed the petition to for for Roman Polanski to you know. To be freed when he was uh, put under arrest in, I believe it was Switzerland. Now, that's not consistent. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. But if that guy is sure? just as bad as, yeah, you can see the petition online. What was her perspective? She was somebody who thought Roman Polanski should not be prosecuted for something that happened a long time ago. She signed that petition. Wow. I would never sign that petition. So there's a lot of disconnect. So I have a big problem with that sort of disconnect. That's a problem. I don't know this woman. I don't know her. Um, I, I, I believe her. I believe what she says about Harvey Weinstein. Uh, and, and again, I, you know, people are like, well, she went back to the scene of the crime. That's very common. But don't sign a petition and then now be this leading voice in this whole, you know, anti-harassment. So I, I, I think it's very inconsistent. I think you have to pay. You have to at least answer to that. Did she comment on why she signed I it? I think she there was a mea culpa there, but it's very inconsistent. And, and, and there's a lot of that out there. There's a lot of that. Out we there. should make sure that she definitely did that. You'll see it. Just see if you can Google that young Jamie. You'll see it. It feels like something that you have to. Oh, I man. looked it up. I actually looked it up. Yeah. I wanted to see who had signed that petition. I came across her name and I was like, whoa, mm. that doesn't make any sense to me. You know, it just hmm. doesn't make any sense, man. Uh, it, it, I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know it. enough about what happened. I know that he drugged and, and sodomized, sodomized yeah. some young girl. girl. She was 13. But what, like, and her mom dropped her off, I believe. And it was why was she tub. there? You know, it was the 70s, man. People were just freaking Apparently she kids. looked every bit of 20, all that shit that mm. you hear. Um, man. But I believe he knew she was 13. And then he knew he was going to go away to jail, and he left the country. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And say, we, and then apparently there's another woman that he had done that to. So. Yeah. Imagine being um, on the scene back then, how weird that must have been. Like, there, there had been, like, think about Roman Polanski making movies in, like, what, the 1970s, right? Yeah. I mean, God, Chinatown. It's only, it only amazing. Yeah, amazing. But they'd only been making movies for, like, a few decades. It was a real new thing. She signed the petition, but I found a tweet she just put she put out a couple months ago where she said she regretted doing it. Mm -hmm. I already regretted the signing the petition years ago. She said, uh, it was a mistake. Robin Polanski's no, a filmmaker she's... whose work I admire greatly, but if I ever see him, I'll spit in his face if he's lucky. Yeah, but you signed the 
petition. I already regretted signing the petition years ago. Already felt it was a mistake. No excuses. It was stupid. But this indicates a pattern of behavior that, if true, and I believe it to be true, is beyond unforgivable. Well, I think, I think you you got a good point though about you you. She made a mistake, and there is something that happens to people that have been violated. Sometimes they blame themselves. That's what I said. Sometimes, I forgive and, that. And it, d there could be a little of that in her decision-making process, too. I can't for I, There could be a little bit of wanting to be in with Hollywood, you know? That's not that's not ethically no. or morally consistent, well, I know, though. and she fucked up, and she realized she fucked yeah, up. But you're also coming after people now. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if we're going to, if we're, we're going to, and, and a lot of these people, you know, Deserve to be come after but you know, we have to be consistent here, right? But isn't she be cons being consistent by just saying that she fucked up oh, and she realized that she fucked up? Well, there are a lot of people that are saying that once they get it. caught well that petition that type of petition doesn't mean jack shit They ain't letting them it doesn't like, matter. You signed it and and, and it was a th it was yes. that, I don't know anybody that would sign that like I would never sign that petition right. That's all I'm trying to say be now, consistent if um so if the guy came to America and got arrested and uh, went through the trial and then got convicted. How much time would you do? I don't know. I, I mean, don't know. what's interesting is like, would it be better karmically to go to jail for what he did, come back, go to jail, and then no one, everyone would always know when you got out that you were convicted and you were punished for child molestation. Like you did it and they got you. Everyone would know. Whereas now, He's living in France, and he has to deal with it floating over his head. Everyone who meets me knows that I drugged and raped a kid. Everywhere I go, everyone knows I drugged and raped a kid. And it just keeps playing out in his head all day that long. That public shaming is powerful shit. Well, this, I mean, that's the highest level. Yes. This is drugging and raping a kid. I'm a forgiving guy. I can't I'm, forgive that one. I, I, I can't. Like, I'm a forgiving dude, man. I, can't, I don't stay mad, and I think it's good to be forgiving about things. There are certain things that, to me, when you, and he's a great filmmaker and a great artist. For me, that kind of stuff, it's very difficult, man. Yeah. It, it, I'm just, it's just very difficult. I had an argument with a bunch of older actors about this, and they were all saying it was a long time ago. She looked up, I and mean, I was like, if it was your daughter, mm. and she was 13, how would you feel? You just got to keep going back to that. Well, especially so. if you actually have a daughter. You actually have a daughter that's not you're not conceptualizing that you're, you're yeah. you've got it actually locked into your brain yeah. you're actually thinking about your daughter and it becomes a different completely different thing i remember thinking when i was young you know yeah if someone did that to my daughter but that was like uh before i had a kid it was like that was yeah. a, a, just a weird concept didn't didn't seem yeah. real but now you think about this 13 year old girl and you're like whoa but what a court would do and what a, what a trial would do is you might hear something like I don't know, but you might hear, I don't know, she said she said I, she was 20. When right. we talk about drugging, hold on, she smoked a little weed that that guy gave her over there. Right. Let's be careful, right? And then, yeah. then you start hearing all the extenuating circumstances, and maybe you would go, you got to do the time, but at least I get how that happened because right. you thought it was something different, right? Yeah. What was your intention? What did you see? But we don't know that. So what happens is... We start, and we're doing this too, and I'm doing it. I don't know, I don't know all the details of the case. So, and, I'm, and all I'm saying is that he drugged and sodomized a 13-year-old girl. Do you think when it's you possible hear that, that everyone was drugged, him included? Well, there's, there, 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 this is what I'm saying. So we all have to be, we all have to be careful, and I have to too, because I'm, I'm kind of breaking my own rule here. I'm, I'm drawing these very strong, hard and fast, uh, like there's no context in what I'm saying, right? Yeah. There's no nuance in what I'm saying. There's no context. Right. And you got to be careful because everything is nuanced in context, in a way. Otherwise, otherwise, you, you, otherwise, you're taking me at just the words I'm right. saying. So what I'm seeing from this is that's is like she's upset and you're upset. Like she's upset she signed it and you're upset she signed it. Yeah. But that doesn't mean nearly as much to me. Like people making a mistake, like her making that mistake, doesn't mean much to me. It's just a mistake. It doesn't, I forgive it. I'm not going to, I'm not saying, But here's saying, the thing. You know. there's, there's no consequences. No one got hurt because of that mistake. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a mistake. She fucked up, but it didn't ultimately hurt anyone. Like it doesn't, I don't like the fact that someone would at least temporarily have that thought in their mind. Like that guy should be free. Like, like leave him alone. What's bygone to be bygone. I'm actually talking about something different. What are you talking about? So I'm talking about talking the about idea Israel that Argento? Hollywood tends to do. I was just using her as an example. Okay. Hollywood tends to do that which is popular 
that which is going to make them liked rather oh, yeah. than something that's morally or ethically consistent. Sure. That's what I mean, right? Well, I, we've talked about this before, that it all comes down to the whole process of being chosen to do things. Yeah. Or being chosen to direct or chosen to act. or chosen. Everybody's constantly working to be chosen. You're all trying to audition for things or trying to angle to get a certain role. It's a constant process of yeah. me, like me, like me, like me. And these are people that go into this job with this yearning desire to be loved. Yeah. And then on top of that, they're playing this weird political game. I mean, acting is all political. This, I mean, it doesn't yeah. make any sense that every other occupation, except maybe tech, tech's probably like mostly, mostly liberal, but Hollywood's almost exclusively liberal. And if you step out of those lines, nobody wants to work with you anymore. Well, Hollywood on the surface is liberal, but actually nobody who's conservative or whatever it w will speak out. Right, like Tim Allen lost his show Yeah. because he's, he's conservative. Yeah. He's an old white guy. What do you expect? Yeah. Old white guys? Yeah, that's a they very play real golf. Probably a very real thing nowadays. I Start think. hanging out with Dennis Miller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dennis Miller, same thing. Yeah. He went fucking straight to James Republican. Woods. James Woods is oh, crazy. Yeah. James Woods is arguing with people on Twitter. Like, James, you're 70 yeah, he years goes old. crazy. How many days you got left? How many, how many moments in your life do you really have left? Do you have a thousand? Like, yeah. what are you going to do? Are you going to waste 400 of them on Twitter? Yeah. That's not wise. That's no. not a wise well, thing. Well, he said he was blackballed for his conservative views. Mm, was he really? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I don't want to be was. I, again. I don't want to be. Um, I don't know if I'm being helpful. Right. So. Well, so you know, you call out certain people, or you talk about the inconsistencies. Most people are doing the best they can at trying to make the world a better place, right? So, are they? I think most people are just like rolling downhill. In a hamster wheel. You think so? Trying to figure out how to stop this fucking thing. Yeah, most people are just on full-on momentum. Most people are definitely not thinking about how to be, make the world a better place. Occasionally people think of that. What they try to think is how do I get by, number one, yeah. and then how do I get better? How do I get ahead, number two? Those mm -hmm. are the things they think of. And occasionally, what's going on? What's <laughs> happening over there? Yeah, yeah. Fucking Trump, and then they go back to work. Yeah. You know, that's, well, that's all you can do sometimes. Yeah, most people. That's most people. <laughs>